Welcome again to Camp Wilderness Thriving Fundamentals. We're about to show you another little video on the things we do at Heartroot. Now, if you've seen our webpage and been through our webpage, you've seen our Heartroot page. And um, I'm going to try to post videos of some of the events and some of the little lessons we're going to learn while we're in Hartrut, and I hope you enjoy them all. We will be posting several, so stay with us and watch for more videos. This is Sky North with Camp WTF at Hartrut. Let's have some fun. Welcome to Hartroot, here at Camp Wilderness Thriving Fundamentals. I'm Stein North, and we're going to give you a little rundown on our knot tying station and some of the instruction that we provide while you're here at camp. Here at Hartroot, uh, we like to get out, out, out of the weather and get out under a tarp and have a little bit of shade, and if it's raining, we like to come in here and do a little bit of, a few exercises to uh, better our skills. Um, and one of those is knot tying. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll learn several knots while you're here at Camp WTF. At this knot tying station we have, as you can see, we have ropes hanging all over the place. we got one for every client. We've got cordage. We use cordage. We show how these knots apply to cordage. What we do is, is we get our clients in here and we teach them simple knots. Now this video is not going to be um, an in-depth video on how to tie knots. We're just going to give you a few samples. A little. This is just a teaser as to what happens at camp. You can go online and see hundreds of knot tying demos and videos online. The difference here at camp is, is that you're not watching it and learning on your own and tying confusing knots and not knowing what you're coming up with and then after a half a dozen tries or so you get the knot and then you look at it and you say now how did I do that so you start again um, the knots that we're going to learn here at camp um, just for just for an example there's there's many knots that can be applied when, when you're in the wilderness um, a lot of the knots we're going to deal with are um, simple, simple um, lark's heads, uh, the clove hitch. We're going to show you how to make a trucker's hitch to cinch up a tight line. Great for cinching up tent posts or, or um, making, making a ridge line that you're going to hang something from or put a tarp over, in fact. And that would be just like putting a pole up. You go between two trees, you use a trucker's hitch make a stiff line that you can put a tarp over. Um, we're going to be talking about different slip knots. We're going to be talking about, um, like I said, the lark's head, but um, the, the application of a lark's head, uh, a double lark's head, which is in this piece of paracord right now, um, or some people call it a triple lark's head, but it's truly a, a prussic knot. Um, a prussic knot is a climber's knot. That, um, Mountain climbers, rock climbers, tree climbers use the prussic knot a lot. There's a lot of good applications for a prussic in a wilderness situation because you can tie a prussic to another rope and it you can loosen it very easily and slide it back and forth on that rope. But once you get it there, one little push of a tab and all of a sudden that prussic knot locks and it will not slide on that rope. This rope that the prussic knot is tied out of will break, or the main rope will break before that prussic knot will release. But once you take the pressure off of it, a little pull on the tab, and guess what? You can move this bugger back and forth all you want again. Put it in any position you want. Put a little pressure on it. Boom. It locks. So it's a very interesting knot, and it's got a lot of applications. Um, and the clove hitch is so common, we use it quite often here. 
Um, another thing we'll teach you are, is um, a timber hitch. Very simple hitch, but very handy. What we're going to teach you are knots that are self-untying. Um, they will not lock up on you. They, they are easily undone, um, very easily undone. I'll show you a little trick. Um, I guess, I guess what I, just just again as a teaser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a lark's head in here. Now this is what they call a bite. When you take a rope and you make a just a curved loop like this, that's called a bite. Okay, we're going to make a bite like this. We're going to put it behind a pole, pull it over. We're going to take both ends of the rope and we're going to pull it through that bite. Now, cinch that up, and you've got a simple lark set, okay? So, there you go, simple lark set. Now, here's the trick I'm going to show you. Many times I've been out hunting, um, I've been in my camp, um, and had something I needed to drag. And I've got a nice good chunk of rope, and I want to drag it out of the woods. So you tie onto the animal or you tie onto the log you want to drag into camp, something heavy, um, and you take that piece of rope and you're going, well, I, I guess I'll take it like this and I'll just do an overhand knot into it like that. Now I got a loop. Now I can grab that loop and I can pull that loop. I can put it through my arm and pull it over my shoulder. But as you're doing that, this overhand knot is binding and binding and getting tighter and tighter. And then you're fighting when you get back to camp to get this thing untied. Okay? As you can see, this overhand knot, you got to play with it to get it untied. Okay? Instead, what I do is, is I attach the end of the rope to the thing I want to drag out of the woods. I find myself a nice stick, good, heavy, dry solid stick, right? Well, at the end of my rope or wherever I want, the, say I want a short rope, like here's a log I'm tied to and I want to be able to lift the end of it up off the ground so it's much easier to drag out. So I pull my rope up as close as I want to the item, lay the stick on top of, you make a bite, again, there's a bite, Lay the stick across the bite, bring the bite up, grab the two ropes, right? And you should be able to pull it through. Well, you can't because it's tied on this other end. If you put this on first, then you'd be able to do it. So, now all you have to do is think about the fact, well, what makes a, a um, lark's head? So, take your rope, make a loop in it, put your stick through the loop. Now. You go over, over your stick, and come back up through that bite, and you pull the two together, and you've made yourself a lark's head using just one end of the rope. Now with that lark's head, you tighten that up around that stick, and look at what you've got. You've got yourself a really nice handle now for pulling and carrying. Or you can put two hands on it and you can really give it the pull that you want. Nice thing about it is you get into camp. Now if you've got a good clean stick, all you have to do is you push that bite. Push that bite back up. Slide the stick out and the lark's head is gone. Nice little trick for when you're trying to haul something into camp that's heavy and awkward. So those are the types of things you're going to learn out here at Camp WTF. Um, we look forward to you coming. We, um, again, believe that you'll leave here very proficient in tying your knots. You won't have to learn them on your own. We'll be here. We'll be right beside you. I'll stand right here, and you could be here, or you could be here, or you could be here, and you could say, Sty, I'm trying to do this bowling, and I just can't do it. And I'll come over and I'll say, well, let me get a rope next to you and let's do a bowling together. Because you're what's ma you, you're, you are what matters to us and we will be certain that you are proficient at your knot tying when you leave this camp.
so that you never have to think of it again. And like I said, it's like riding a bike. And in closing, when I said that we were going to um, do this station, Big Jim said to me, he said, he said, a knot tying station, huh? And I said, yeah. I said, I want to teach people how to use and tie proper knots. I don't want them leaving here tying granny knots. And he goes, now wait a minute, Steve. We all know granny's a little crazy, but she isn't knots. So with that, and that from Big Jim, this is Stein North saying thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you at Camp WTF. You all have a good day.